everyone. Happy Friday. Today is actually Thursday. We are getting a new roof and we kind of expected them yesterday. They dropped off the shingles and the guy said they might be here. And then we expected them today. He said they'd probably be here. If they weren't there yesterday, they'd probably be here about seven this morning and they're not here yet. So I was thinking I better go ahead and do my video before I have people all around banging on the roof and stuff. So I thought we would go ahead and do it today. And um, so I'm gonna show you lots of stuff, but not everything because I wanna break it up a little bit. I ordered two bathing suits from Venus and I used to order from them a long time ago before YouTube. I think I even, I think it was when um, before I even had Will, I can remember ordering some bathing suits and I remember them really holding up well and they really had some cute high-waisted but still sexy ones and I have never worn that type of bathing suit. I've always worn the really low ones but I'm going to try that and see how I like it and I've also gotten some cover-ups and stuff like that so I'm going to do a separate video on that and then I told you guys on my Instagram that I didn't buy any bags or shoes in California, but since I've gotten back, Sheila bought this really cool denim Chanel bag when she was there in, we went to Rodeo Drive, and I loved it. And I didn't really want the denim, I don't know, I mean, I probably would have thought about it, but I didn't want to get the same bag she got. And, but I did want to get something like that. Remember I told you I either wanted like a Fendi tote or something. And I've enjoyed my Louis Vuitton Neverfull so much that I was kind of looking for a tote or something. And I just love the way, I don't know, I love the way big bags look in the summertime. That's why I have tried and tried to get that Stella McCartney Falabella bag. I love the way that bag looks. I just don't like the chain handles. So anyway, Sheila found a really pretty um, pre-owned or used or whatever. It's not vintage. It's just pre-owned Chanel bag that I ended up buying over the phone last night. So I will show you that when it gets here. And I was going to move into my new bag that I showed you last week, the blue one with the, or the black one with the blue and white stripes. But I'm thinking I'm going to save that until after I use this Chanel one for a while, because this Chanel one is very kind of, um, it's kind of summery and springy. So that is going to be soon. As soon as I get it, I'll do a video. I um, got some sunglasses when I was in California, and I always tell myself I've got enough sunglasses, I'm not even gonna look at them, but there was one particular pair that I really wanted, and that girl that I told you about, um, Shalice Noel, she had them on in that picture that I was showing you with the red hat and the red shoes, and by the way, those red shoes are so worth the money. I wore those, they were my airport shoes. I wore those to California and back. And I just put one of those um, little flower petal things in the, in the ball of the foot and no problems at all. So I loved those, what a good deal. And um, so let's go with, let, let me go ahead and show you the hat that I ended up getting in California. We were in Nordstrom and I saw this hat and not only is the color like the prettiest color ever, ever, ever. I'm going to just keep this forever because I want to make, eventually I want to do like a lipstick or a lip gloss, like a real full bodied lip gloss, this color. I love the way it's kind of like that faded red and I wore this back and I'll put a picture, I'll put a picture in here after I show you the sunglasses because I'm wearing this and the sunglasses. And that morning I thought, oh good, I'm not even gonna worry about my hair, I'm not gonna wash it, I'll just take a shower when I get home and I'm gonna wear this hat. Go to put it on right at the last minute and it is an extra small. I never even looked at that when I bought it and I have a big head. I have a big head like my daddy. And I normally need, not a large, but I normally need a medium. So I squeeze, I'm not even gonna do it now because I don't wanna get, mess up my makeup and my hair, but I squeezed this on my head. I mean, I had to pull it down like over that bone right back there and I wore it and I got lots of compliments from men on it. But anyway, I love this hat. It's a Brixton, which is a great brand. It says it right here. 
And um, I don't know if you can see, it's like summer weight. It is very, very light, like you could wear it to the beach. It is just a really, really lightweight, just awesome hat. And I don't think it was that much. I think it was like less than 50 for a, a nice name brand, nice hat. And they had it in another color too. And I just love that style and I love the way it's, you know, not too, just not not too much up here or anything no stars or anything and so I think if you are in the market for something like that you would love that hat okay so the sunglasses that I bought okay they're right here I wore the heck out of them and a lot of you guys noticed them on Instagram and um, I tried to find them to link them online and I um, had the worst time with my phone when I was out of town I could not get my emails I couldn't pull up anything it was just it just wouldn't work hardly so but here they are and they're Salvatore Ferragamo and I bought them at the Ferragamo store and they are just fabulous and they're so comfortable they're big and crazy like I love they come in three colors you can get this one you can get like a, a black and gray type smoked out one or you can get one that's like blue and a, goes into a little bit of like a pink color and but I wanted these and so you know oh I'll put the picture right in here of how the hat and the glasses look together but I just love them and what I love about glasses like this is when we were walking in and out of the stores in and out I just kept them on because I can see through them and people can still see my eyes so it isn't as I don't know, I feel like it's not as rude, and I just love them. And this is actually the logo for Salvatore Ferragamo. So that's what that design is, but they're pretty fabulous. They're light, they fit my face so well. I love like this little end, and they're just fabulous. And they were expensive, but no more than any other Gucci, Tom Ford, or anything like that. And um, then the last, I think it was the day we were going to Sheila's sister's ranch, which was, oh my gosh, just amazing, amazing. Baby um, alpacas, um, two puppies, two Great Pyrenees puppies, birds, peacocks, everything. It was just amazing. And it was like up in the mountains, you know, and it was just so pretty. But when we stopped at a Nordstrom, we right in the door we realized we you know they didn't have what we were looking for but we stopped and looked at sunglasses and i ended up getting these which are kate spade i love this case the cases make a difference they do and i wore these yesterday i actually made two videos yesterday i made the little it's when i watched it back it was cringeworthy because it's very hard to watch yourself back in the first place but then it's even harder to watch yourself back when you're just talking off the cuff about things like that, when you're talking about your life. Because the whole time I was like, I shouldn't have said that. That was too much. They don't care about that or whatever, but I'm just gonna probably let it go because I feel like, you know, I was talking talking from my heart and you know, all the other crazy stuff here on YouTube, it isn't any crazier than that. But anyway, I went down to the beach and I made that video and I made a Colleen Rothschild favorites video and um, I wore these so you'll get to see these you know later but I just thought they were so pretty and when I put them on they are just like so sturdy and solid to be a pair of glasses like this I mean they're just fabulous and they I don't know if you can tell um, the outside of them is kind of like a darker gold i guess maybe even a bronzy color and but the lenses are kind of a pinky tone and they're dirty because i've been wearing the heck out of them but and these were not quite as expensive and they are so worth it they've even got the pretty little thing there and then these next pair just won my heart and sheila is so she is one of those people that is just brutally honest which i am so attracted to it seems like everyone in my life is brutally honest and um 
So when she tells me, you have to get it, you have to get them, I usually listen to her because she will tell me right off if they if they don't look good on me or they're not me or something like that. And these next pair are Chloe. And I can't remember if I even have, seems like I might have one pair of Chloe sunglasses that John ordered for me. But um, they come in this a box and then this fabulous case. And these, I cannot say that they fit my face so well. They do sit on my cheeks, but they are so fabulous and so unique that I thought there are plenty of days that I don't care about that. There are plenty of days that I'm not really worried about my makeup that much, days I go to the beach, days I'm just running around and I might even just see if I can just let them, see if they'll bother me that much, but they are this. They're, what's so unique about them is the color gray and look how they're, I don't know how you can see them best, they're kind of vintage looking. They remind me of Angelina Jolie in the movie By the Sea and her makeup and her style in that movie are just so, it's just so beautiful. It's so old Hollywood. And she's got an old pair, I think hers are like YSL, an old pair of sunglasses on. And I mean, but look at the detail, like even on the inside, I hope you can see that, like that shell type detail. And um, anyway, I just love them. And I just, I love the lenses. I love everything about them. So I got them and just, I mean, look how pretty they are. They're just gorgeous. I did go to Sephora, but I put that little haul on my Instagram and I've used all of it. And one thing that I am just loving that I bought in that haul is this brush and it's a Sephora. See, it's got makeup on it already. It's the Pro Angle Diffuser. It kind of combines two brushes that I love. I always like the diffused type brushes and I love angled brushes. So I used this today in the blush that I'm gonna show you and it was just perfect. It's just, what I loved about it is it, see, it's gonna pick up more product right there and then it seemed like it picked up a little bit less up here and then it just applied it perfectly to my cheeks and I loved it. I love these brushes. I actually went to go get another one of those long ones that was in my Sephora favorites and um, they were out of them. And this was the last day of the VIB, and so I got 20% off of everything I got that day. Right before I left, my friend Denise sent this to me, and I told her that Jouer, really, they win the award for the prettiest packaging. All of their packaging is so nice, so sturdy, doesn't get fingerprints or dirty, and it's always like this gold and pink and just pretty colors. But this is a bronzer duo, and it's called it's the medium to deep, and let's see if it has like a name. Um, nope, I don't see like a name on it, and I think I've already thrown away the box, but it is this bronzer, bronzer duo, and it's beautiful. It's what I have on today. It's what I started out with. You know, you know I put a lot of stuff on kind of over this, but I have worn this by itself, and it's way more pigmented than it looks. It is definitely medium to deep and it's beautiful. So thank you, Denise. She's always thinking of me. And so let's go right into, before I go any further, I wanted to um, show you two star products that I have been using lately and I love. And one is the lip gloss that I have on right now. I showed it to you last week. It is the Stila um, Beauty Boss Lip Gloss in the color Synergy. And what I love about it is how well this lip gloss goes with everything. Even though it's kind of like a pinky color, it really goes well with browns or like my brown, like my nude sandals lip liner. It goes, today I have on Plumberry. It's the new um, Laura Mercier Plumberry, but it's, it's just the same. It's just like a new design, I think. And um, when you guys loved it the other day in my video with Sheila, I had it on with my nude sandals lip liner. Love this, it goes so well with everything and I've just really, really enjoyed using it. Feels good, it lasts a long time. And then this is the Chanel, it's that concealer corrector type thing. Let's see, Lay Corrector. Um, I'll put the number down below, but watch how magical this concealer is. If I just put a dot, I mean, the smallest dot in those two dark places. I don't know where my mirror is. I've got such a mess here. But, um, and then I just take my ring finger 
and tap that out. It is amazing. I think it might be better than that Maybelline Dream Lumi. It just gives so much brightness and then I usually take whatever I have left over and put it like around my nose. And um, so I wanted to tell you about that because it's one of those things I got a long time ago and I like to kind of check back with you and tell you what I'm liking. Okay, now, right before I left, Anne at the Dior counter texted me and sent me a picture of the new Dior collection. And I have been loving that feel quad so much that I thought, oh, I'm gonna go get one of those quads because I've been loving that other one so much. So I did, I went and one of them was already sold, but the one that I actually wanted was still there and it's called Terra. And here it is, I've already taken like the little applicators and stuff out of it, but this is what I have on today. Let me scoot you in closer. And I went for, I kind of did this natural look. I just, I love it so much. I just love that whole process of the concealer first and everything. So that is pretty much how I do my makeup and I used this. And I hope that you can see what I love about this is it is that purpley brown that I love. It is just like the prettiest. It even looks more purpley when I look in the viewfinder, but it is definitely, let me hold it out here. It's definitely a like a warm, bronzy, purpley brown, if that makes any sense. And I have every color on my eyes right now. So it is just, it's glorious. It is so worth it. I did start out with Hula bronzer in the crease just to kind of give me a, a, start with a crease that was matte and then blend into it. But um, I don't even know if you can see it anymore, but I did start with that and um, it was just beautiful. So I'm so glad I got this, I love it. And that whole collection was so pretty. I ended up, I never get these because I always figure I don't wear pencil eyeliner enough to really spend a lot of money or get them. But she had this on and it was just so pretty. And I'm so glad I did because this is what I have on my eyes today too. And it is the double in and out eyeliner. And it's made where you wear one side, you know, on your lid and then the this color I'm wearing on the inner waterline and it's just like a dark it says brown brown and bronze so it's brown on this end and it's a dark good brown and let me oh my gosh that was just the dumbest place to swatch so that is it and I put on a thick line and I went to smudge it out with a brush and it smudged out much thicker than I thought it would but it was kind of a good thing because I've got some new lashes on that I want to show you that are pretty intense. So that is the brown side and then this side is in my waterline and it is gorgeous. So there it is, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I'm so glad I got that, I'm so glad I got that. And then they came out with a new, I actually bought this at Sephora. It is the Dior Pump and Volume, which is one of my very favorite mascaras. It's right there with, it's this Chanel um, De Volume, Volume De whatever ma mascara from Chanel. What is it? Volume de Chanel. Volume de Chanel. And then CoverGirl Lash Blast. And I think it's because I like this rubbery wand, but this is the new... Dior Show Pump and Volume HD. Look at this. You're not gonna believe this. Did you hear me call your name? Did you hear me call your name, Chanel? Huh? <laughs> she is right here. She heard me say Chanel. That is so smart, isn't it? Because I didn't even say it like in the tone that I would to talk to her. Okay, just because of that, I'm gonna let you come over here if you want to. There's so much stuff she can't get over here. Just like where I came home from out of town and just kind of plopped everything on my table. So love that whole collection. And I'm gonna show you two new Dior blushes. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go take this off my hand. Okay, and my hair is dirty today because I'm going to get my roots. Look at those roots. I'm going to get my roots done tonight. Um, Morgan's actually gonna get me after she works at the blowout bar. So it's gonna be late tonight. Anyway, so here are the Dior blushes, and these things look so scary when I show them to you, but they are gorgeous, gorgeous. I've used both of them, and I have on the scariest one today, so I'm gonna show you that one first. And I'm so glad I did that, but this one, 
is called, it's number 11, and I don't know if I have the box anymore, but it is the Dior Nude Luminizer, Dior Skin Nude Luminizer Blush, and this is number 11, and I believe it's called Nude Plum, but that is what I have on my cheeks today with that diffuser brush, and it was perfection. It was just beautiful. So here is that one. And when she showed them both to me, I was scared of that one, but then she told me she had put it on this girl that was works in the lingerie department that's real fair skin, and she said it was beautiful on her, that it wasn't as crazy as it looked, so I'm glad I took a chance. And then this is um, number 10, and I believe this one is coral, nude coral. Here they are together, and they are just beautiful. I mean, don't they just make you happy when you look at them? They're so glorious and shiny. And so that is what I have on, and I actually wore in the video yesterday that you'll see, I wore this one. So, I'm going to show you one pair of shoes that I bought. I did not buy them there, but I ordered them. I think I might have ordered them the day I left, or maybe even, I had a four hour layover in the airport, and no, because my phone wasn't working very well that day. So I must have ordered them right before I left. But it is a pair of shoes that I saw on the same blogger, Shalice Noel. I'm a stalker, I know. And they're Vince Camuto. And um, I, I keep thinking of so many things that I want to tell you how much I really like that I'm going to just save it and do a favorites video very soon. Maybe even this weekend because I've got some things I really want to tell you how much I love. So let me get the shoes and I'll be right back. Okay, and here they are. And they are Vince Camuto, and I cannot remember. Here, hold on. Let me get the receipt. Okay, they are, um, the name of them is G-E-D-D-A, so Geta or Jetta. I would say Geta. And what I think is so beautiful about these is the color, and the color is precious. Isn't that the best? And I love, I just love everything about them, but there's just something about the way they look on the foot because I looked at them, I don't know how many times on her before I ordered them because they would look so good in her pictures. But then when I would push the link and look at them, I was like, eh, they don't look as good, you know, just like this, but they just look beautiful on the foot. There's just something about the way that toe does and the way this comes up and just this color. It's just that, kind of powdery nude, and I love the suede, these suede sandals in the summer because they're just softer. So I'm gonna put these on to wear with my outfit of the day, and then I've got some clothes to show you. I've got some good things and some very inexpensive things that I got. I kind of hit the jackpot at H&M, and some of it I'm gonna save for my swimsuit and cover-up video, but then other stuff I'm gonna show you. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing is these pair of pants that I got from H&M, and as you can see, they're high-waisted, and it's so hard for me to wear something up this high. My instinct is to turn them down, but I know that they look better. It's kind of like the look to wear them high, and I've got them on with just one of those Target tanks, and I have not been to Target in so long. I need to go. Maybe I'll even go today and see what kind of tanks they have now, because I'm not sure if these are still available, but I love them because they had the little bit of lace right there. And then these are the shoes. And I hope that you can see, I'll try to like zoom in on them, but they're just so pretty and I thought they would look good with this snake print. And these pants were like $15 and they are so worth it. Even if you just bought them to wear them around the house, they are worth it. I love pants like this and they're really thin, so they'll be perfect for the summertime. And because you can't stop there, you can't stop with the snake print. You got to go on with the zebra print. Let's see if these are the same price. Yep, $14.99. So these are going to fit the same. And I did get a medium, US medium, and they're plenty big. Sometimes in these less expensive places, I have to size up to like, you know, because they're more junior -y sizes, but these are plenty big. And so these are gonna look great too. Just perfect. I mean, th this, I mean, even if you just wore them to the beach over your bathing suit, but I love pants like this. So you'll probably see these a lot. And I saw this and I thought this was the sweetest little top and it was $29.99 and I bought the size 10 because I didn't want to look boobylicious in this. I wanted to just it to stay sweet and maybe wear, um, I don't know, like 
I don't know if I'd wear a nude. Um, I don't know, there's different possibilities. You could wear white under it, you could wear a color under it, like even a pink um, camisole or something, but I just loved it and I thought, I love the bottom too. I thought this would look really good with jeans, like some ripped up jeans and just some kind of cool, like you could even do like red or black, some type of um, cami tank or something underneath it, or you could even do like a tube top underneath it. And I just thought it was so pretty. They had actually just put this out. I mean, look at the sleeves and everything. Oh, I just love this. Now I waited for this, I was on the waiting list. I have seen this on so many people and it's Jen G here on YouTube and she does these fabulous t-shirts. And you guys, I cannot even explain how soft and wonderful this t-shirt is. It is the best quality, I'm so tickled with it. But I had to get this one with the tiger on it. And I believe, what does it say, feminine? So I got that to wear. I want to kind of like mix it in with maybe some high-waisted black dress pants and some cool shoes or something. Or you could just wear this with some black biker shorts and your flip-flops or something. Or wear it out with leggings. There's just so many possibilities. And I did get size um, medium. It says do not iron because of this, of course. But so loving that. It is so cool. This one, which is awesome. It says blonde. I love this nude color. And this is the type t-shirt that's gonna look so good underneath like a leather jacket, a blazer, anything, because there's just something about that red lettering that's gonna look really good. And this, you can tell how soft this is. And this one is even kind of, um, it's really thin. It's, it's not linen, but it does have a good, a really nice texture to it and I just love that so Jen good job on your line here it's very very nice hey okay, now we're wrapping it up my accessories I have on if you watched my video with Sheila and by the way thank you so much for that great response and I just remembered I need to pick three winners for my lip kit so what I'm gonna do is probably get will to randomly pick three numbers or names or something. I'll get him to choose because he won't know any different. He'll be, uh, you know, um, very fair. <laughs> and um, so I will list those winners down below. So please look and see if you are one of the winners because by the time I edit this and put it up, I can have those winners down below for my lip kit. And, um, okay, so thank you for that good response on that video. We had a good time. But I've got on two of the Jolie chains that she just made, and I love these so much. I wore all three the other day, and they do, for some reason, they do not get tangled. And they don't even get tangled in my U necklace that I wear all the time. I love them. They're easy to put on. One little detail, and I don't even know if she meant to do this, but that little, um, that little Sheila Fajal tag right there, I love that because other necklaces, like for instance, I think the Chanel, any necklace that is like a continual link, I hate it when it's hard to find the catch. I mean, it's one thing when you're putting it on, but when you're taking it off, I hate it when you can't, you know, find where the catch is. So that is a good tip and I just love this. And you can put, I've got like a big L charm I might put on it sometimes just for fun. So love these and I'm thinking I might, I'll put the link down below, but I'm thinking I might carry these in my website, my web store to sell because she kind of created these for me. So, um, and my earrings are, I love these. I cannot remember the name of these, but we showed them the other day and I just love them. They're like a square. Oh, I think they're for her sister-in-law, um, Elisa. I think that's what they're called but I just love those. And I thought they went well with this whole outfit. But I wanted to show you two pair of earrings that I picked up at H&M. Um, I saw these and they reminded me of the big cheap ones I got at Amazon that I love so much. But those things, they can be heavy. I mean, you are gonna take those off when you get home and you probably will with these. They're not, that's the thing about Sheila's and what makes them worth the extra money is because they're, for one, they're gold, you know, they, they're, hollow but the outside is gold and um anyway 
but hers are so light. These are not as light, but I just thought they were so cute because they're kind of like a mini version of those other ones that I showed you, and they were $7.99 at H&M. And I thought Brooke and I could share these, which I'll probably never see them again. And then I grabbed these that are just like tortoiseshell, great big earrings, because I, I just like them. <laughs> I just like them, I think they're cool. I love big earrings in the summer, and these would look really good with your hair up. So, and these were cheap too, $12.99. So, oh, and my uh, nails are uh, China Glaze, uh, Rose Among Thorns, my favorite. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will be right back here to see you probably Saturday or Sunday. And leave me a comment down below of any videos that you'd like to see. I know I'll have my favorites coming up. And um, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.